Hi team, Coach Alexa here. Um, a great question that's come in from a couple of runners that I support recently uh, training towards the, the London Marathon, but it's also applicable for all types of training, for all types of endurance distances. So endurance distances pretty much start from around and just above a mile upwards all the way from 5k, 10k, half, full marathon, ultra and beyond. Um, and the question was why, if you're asking me to um, run all my long runs at a really super gentle pace, slower than target race pace, how is it that I can then suddenly pull a much faster pace out of the bag on race day? So a couple of different answers uh, to, to that one, a couple of different factors uh, that, that answer that one that are worth talking about. The first one is in your training plan, yes, you have the long run. Yes, you're running that really nice and gently, a lot slower than target race pace, because that's how we build our endurance. And all of those distances I just mentioned are endurance distances. We need that cardiovascular endurance engine to be really strong. And we do that by doing those runs gently enough. The speed in our training comes from other sessions in the week. So you might in your plan have some hills, have some intervals, have some tempo style runs. So those faster, shorter speed sessions and what's called speed endurance around tempo pace where you're working on running faster but for longer. That's where the speed comes from. And all of those three aspects act as pillars that come together on race day to allow you to run faster for longer. It's also worth a reminder that in training, we go into every long run pre-fatigued, as it were, from those other sessions in the week, the previous week's long run. So if you're doing a 10 mile long run, for example, as part of a training programme, that uh, 10 mile long run will have more training value, as it were, because you're going into it already fatigued than it will a standalone 10 mile run if you've done that off the back of two weeks of doing no running at all. So we get extra value from those sessions. You might have in your training plan, particularly if you've got a, 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 a sort of tasty target time in mind, um, a little bit of either race pace practice or a little bit of an acceleration in the middle or towards the end of a couple or a few of your long runs as well. The other thing that's going to help you linked to that to pull everything together and run faster on race day is the taper. So as an example, for a marathon, on average, a three week taper. So that means three weeks before the race, we drop back the distance and we drop back the speed. And then you just kind of tick over a little bit the week before the race. So you, unlike the long runs where you're going into them with that fatigue still in your legs to add training value for the race, all of that fatigue is cleared. You're feeling full of energy, full of beans. You're fully recovered from all the training that you've done. And that's another factor that allows you to run faster for longer on race day. Hope that's useful.